Welcome back, trainers, and today we're going to be taking a look at Galarian Slowbro Poison and Psychic in the Psychic Cup. Seems a little dangerous, right? As he's looking at his Mega Man cannon. So, folks, what, what am I doing with this poison in the Psychic Cup here? Well, let me tell you a little something. Well, I put in Wobbuffet. I was having a little fun with that. Take a look at the team here. I did completely max out this Wobbuffet. Level 51 in Best Buddy. It is short of 100%, unfortunately, but it's still was fun to use. I was just testing out charm. Now I was encountering double charm users, double charm users, double charm users for about a good set. So I said, you know what the heck with this? I'm going to use Galarian Slowbro. I'm going to put on poison jab and let's see if we can keep encountering these double charm user teams and uh, have a little fun with our poison jab. So you are going to be part Psychic, so you're not necessarily taking super effective from Psychic, but you are still going to be taking a decent amount. And if you saw Focus Blast, you're thinking, well, what are you doing with Focus Blast in a Psychic Cup? That's absolutely useless. Well, having Psychic, which is its other move, is going to be even more useless. And I'll tell you why we want Focus Blast. It's for when we go up against those Steel types. We're going to be able to uh, not quite one shot, but we're going to be doing a lot of damage to, say... I don't know, Jirachi, or more common scene, Bronzor. So that's why I want Focus Blast. But anyways, if you do enjoy my videos, give it a thumbs up. Let's see what we have. Of course, we got that Shadow Gardevoir. So we do swap into the Wobbuffet. We will be bringing in that Slowbro soon enough. It does recommend that you use Counter, strictly because it is going to be gaining energy that much faster than this stinking Slow Charm buildup here. Wobbuffet is a tank, but there's just so much that it can actually take. Now let's go ahead and see how much this return really does to a Galarian. Oh, we're getting a shield. Well, you know, return usually does a, a decent amount of damage, but coming from Wobbuffet, ah, <laughs> not so much, not so much. All right, so we're gonna be bringing in our Malamar here, bad situation, could be a Mega Horn. Yo, yeah, there it is. I back out in a rage. So at this point, I go into my uh, Pokemon and I'm looking for a poison type. I'm like, oh, where, where is it? What poison? So we find it, and here we go. Let's see what we have going on. And of course, we're met with a Charm user. It's at least it's not going to be Shadow. Claydol putting in that work, folks. Already seen those teams from other content creators already revolving around my other one. Let's get it. Taking them out. They just let it go down. Bringing in the Malamar to farm up here. And they're going to be throwing right away without building up any extra energy. That is just perfect. Now, you think I would want to go Malamar, right? But we're going to go with Slowbro for whatever reasons. I have my reasons. Let's just go ahead and see what we have. They're going to be swapping into a bronzer. Here you go. You ready? You want to see that focus? Hit the like for this focus blast if we land it. How much does this do? Oh, there you go. That's why we have it. Focus blast is useless in the psychic cup. Oh, oh no, not quite. So let's go ahead and bring in the Malamar. Going to go ahead and get their first shield out of them. Now, they, if they do have payback, that's going to be doing a ridiculous amount of damage. So we're going to go ahead and shield it up. Even though we are part dark, we are psychic, we still do take a decent amount of damage as a Malamar. That's just the way it is. They're going to double shield. They know they need to win that situation here, but we're going to go ahead and let it go. We survive it. Malamar holding on tight. And I started realizing, holy crap, I just lost. I needed to swap into my Slowbro and start farming them up so we can hit them with a sludge wave, build up to it before they can actually get to two of these foul plays. And there you go. If we were able to farm up in that situation and not just take them out right away then we could have made it, maybe pulled this off but did i trick you folks <laughs> come on man malamar look at what we got surviving with literally a sliver of health i couldn't freaking believe it i was so happy i did not top left next battle we're met with a hypno with our malamar you gotta love it even if they hit us with a shadow ball this is a great position because of that massive resistance to that hard-hitting confusion that's going to be doing so little damage to us. Okay. They're letting that first one go. Psycho Cut's not doing much damage to them. So they can go ahead and let that go. Hitting us with that Shadow Ball. There's your damage. Okay. So not, not a problem whatsoever. We can get hit by an Ice, Thunder, Fire Punch. And we'll still be looking good. But they're going to be letting it go. And there it is. A Charm User. So it is going to still be part Psychic. The Galarian Rapidash. So, you know, Foul Play's still going to do a decent amount of damage to it. And they really can't take a hit too well in the great league they're gonna go for body slam take us out here and we're gonna go ahead and bring in you already know slow bro what do they have in the back victini and this is just perfect alignment we throw in our clay doll here doing super effective now that victini can farm very fast with quick move we're gonna let the first one go and i actually think we're gonna let the second one go farm up with the oh never mind okay 
Okay. I think what we wanted to do is just get their shield, and unfortunately, the Galarian Slowbro doesn't get to see any more action. But don't worry, we're going to have some more fun with it. We landed a Focus Blast, and we'll be landing some more moves here. We got a Mirror Match with a Malamar. Okay. So since, since mine does have pretty low attack, I will be losing CMP for the most part. Okay, that's... I don't, I don't care. But I've noticed the extra bulkiness that I do have with it because of the IVs is really helping me to stay alive. I don't know. Hence that one battle where I survived with like one HP for about five seconds. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a, what really happened, but you, you get where I'm coming from. So we will let this go. Again, just having the bulk on this Malamar is helping me stay alive. Now, they can survive another one, too. And they're going to be swapping into a Hypno. They are shieldless at this point. We're looking just absolutely beautiful, perfect. Couldn't be better. All right. Oh, and they tried to bait me with a Thunder Punch. No bueno. We're not going to give up a shield, even if it was a Shadow Ball. We got the slow bro in the back with two shields and we're going to be able to do a lot of damage. Seeing that we're getting rid of the, I would think their main confusion user right there. I don't think the Sl Galarian slow bro has too much to worry about. The only thing it fears is a clay doll. Now, don't worry. I have that example for you. Will we see it right here? I'm all thinking I'm in a good position. I swap into my Malamar. We're going to go ahead and take them out here. And if there is a clay doll in the back, even if we have two shields, we're in freaking trouble. And nope, it's not. Okay, we got a, a Raichu. No problem at all. So we're going to just go straight for that Sludge Bomb and take the win. And we still have two shields here. They couldn't got off a charge move for sure. They were trying to just build up extra or they just knew it was over and didn't even waste their time throwing. Next battle, we're met with a Bronze Ore. Shiny, okay. It has Quick Attack. That's what they have now because, well, that's going to be gaining more energy a lot faster. And you better look out because those freaking Bronze Ores will have Payback. We, they swap into Raichu, we swap into Claydol, and that's a wrap! All right! <laughs> Moving on to our next opponent, what are we going to see? A Hoopa. Oh, okay, now at first I was thinking, <laughs> oh man, okay, I, it's just nice in the beginning of these seasons, battling people, you know, just using random stuff. Come to find out, no, don't, don't sleep on Hoopa. That thing will just one-shot every freaking thing. Okay, so they swap into the Malamar. Their Hoopa has a ton of energy. I had to keep that in the back of my mind. We're going to let this go and get off one more of these. I think we just do... I think we stay here. We don't want to swap. Just going to let them take us out here and just have a little fun. May shield this up. Okay, yeah. Since we are ahead on energy, we're either going to take them out or get the shield. to have to come back in here with whatever they decide to bring in. And, oh, they survived with one HP, so we have to swap this knight because we weren't going to Psycho Cut. We've seen how that worked. So in comes the Hoopa. I already know they're going to take me out with a Shadow Ball or something. Literally one shots my Clay Doll. So I'm thinking, okay, they're shieldless, so we're looking okay. They bring in a Bronzor, and we do have Slowbro in the back. Remember how we're discussing this? The Malamar is getting a little too low, and that Hoopa has a little bit of energy. Folks, things are getting nervous here. I'm getting real nervous, so we're going to go ahead and go for another foul play, but we're taking them out. Looks like the Malamar is just going to be able to sweep up, and unfortunately, Slowbro didn't even get any freaking time on the field. And, well, the app is, looks like it's magically starting to freeze up at the end when I'm about to win. And we take that win with the Malamar literally sweeping up. It's probably one of the best for this cup. Absolutely. And here we go with the charm. So we're going to go ahead and swap into our clay doll. We don't want to bring in that poison right away and have them bring in their bronze war and just be in a horrible lock situation. Well, clay doll would be worse, to be honest, because it's ground and ghost or psychic. So it's resisting everything we throw at it. All right, so what's going on? Hey, hitting us with Mega Horn. Yep, 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 Mega Horn. At that point, I was going to top left. Kind of wanted to literally top left, but we're not going to give up yet. Bring it in our slow rope to farm up here. All right, we got a Jirachi. Folks, are we going to land another Focus Blast? Freaking Focus Blast the Psychic types into the next round. Get out of here. Let's freaking go. Are you serious? <laughs> Who would have thought a fighting move would have been good in the Psychic Cup, right? Let's get it. <laughs> We got another Hoopa, or this is the Hoopa. All right. Okay. So, oh, no, no, no. This is another person with another Hoopa. I'm getting my battles confused here. All right, so they go for Shadow Ball. Okay, okay, sounds good. Gonna go for uh, a super, 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 super effective charge move. <laughs> and we take that win. Looking good. So I bet you would have never thought you would have seen the title beating the Psychic Cup with a fighting type move. Yeah, and getting a 5-0 in the process. Yes, Galarian Slowbro didn't make an appearance in every battle because it just didn't need to. But when it did, it did what it, did what it needed to do, and it got the job done. 
all while taking out these psychic types with a freaking fighting move. Let that sink in. Next battle, we're met with a Victini. This is great already. Put that clay doll in the middle so we can encounter something like this. The fire and ground. Yes, that connection is there. All right, so they're going for, obviously, V-Create, and we're going to go for Foul Play. They let it go. Down they go. We've used the shield. They're bringing in Hypno. I'm thinking, okay, this is... I mean, I can't declare a win already, but we got the Confusion user out here, so we can clear that away for our Galarian Slowbro. Yeah, I think we're going to be looking pretty stinking good. We're going to easily let this go. Hit me with a Thunder Punch. Hit me with a Shadow Ball. Hit me with whatever you want. We're good. And we're going to go for another Foul Play here. We've gotten one shield out of them. Looks like they're still holding tight. And this is going to obviously KO. Do they want to use their last shield? Let's see if they do. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, they use their last shield. We're going to let this go because, well, we just simply do not need to. I immediately swap because they bring us down low enough to gain a decent amount of farm. And we're going to go ahead and uh, just quick move them down. I don't care if they hit me with another Shadow Ball. I already knew it. That's fine. And they have their own clay doll on the back. I throw a freaking Earth Power and what do we have ready to go? What did I say completely counters Galarian Slowbro? Malamar's health, too low to do anything. Gonna take it taken out in one shot. So we have to do this. I'm thinking, okay, I can still win, but <laughs> this Sludge Bomb better KO. Otherwise, it's good night sleep type for me. And uh, I screwed that all up because I just wanted to go Earth Power. I don't know why I hit that. We hit the Sludge Bomb, Galarian Slowbro, yet again, still holding it down for me. It said, hey, hey, hey. I got the Mega Man cannon. Let's go to town and have fun. And I said, let's get it. Let's go, buddy blue. All right. So next battle, we're met with another clay doll here. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and build up our energy. I mean, worst case, uh, or you're better off just going earth power, actually, <laughs> in this situation, if you're the clay doll up against a Malamar. So I do believe they retreat with a bunch of energy, if I recall this correctly. Yes, that's exactly what they do. And they bring in their own Malamar, which is a bit of an issue. So we get that off, they let it go, they've already used a shield, we swap into our clay doll, foul play's gonna do a lot, but we're doing a ton with our quick move. So we're gonna go ahead and shield this up, we will survive another one here. So we let this go, farm them down, and then hit their clay doll immediately with a shadow ball. We will win CMP, I would guess, because this is a freaking 15-15-10 or something. So, uh, higher attack, and yes, right off the bat, we already know they had a ton of energy, they're like, holy crap, why did I lose CMP? Probably because you have ideal IVs with low attack. Who knows? But anyways, we bring in our Malamar, getting to the foul play, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to have to kind of shield this up. And if they even catch, I mean, what can catch a, <laughs> a foul play that's just going to say, ah, that doesn't hurt too much in the Psychic Cup, not not too much stuff. And they got a Cresselia in the back. Folks, if they have Grass Knot, Moonblast, that's a wrap for them, and we take the win. Slowbro completely walls Cresselia. Let's get it. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'll be catching you all next time. Take care. sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and i don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it you me or nobody is going to hit as hard as life but it ain't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward that's how winning is done Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.
Oh, oh, oh.